Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we are taking a look at this transient memory card reader and as you can see on the box the model number is RDF5. Now this is one of the simplest memory card reader that is available on the internet and it comes with a USB 3.1 generation 1 interface so a fairly new and fast interface. As you can see on the packaging it is capable of reading micro SD as well as an SD card. So micro SD card or your typical small card that you typically put inside your phone and then we've got your SD cards that we that we typically put inside our cameras. So it can read uh, both these cards but not not simultane simultaneously at the same time. So at a time it can only read one card at a time. So make sure if you're using this you're plugging only a single card at a time. So there is that. So in this video we will be testing uh, this memory card speed. It, as you can see it comes with a USB 3.1 generation 1 interface which is fairly new and fast and it supports UHS 1 card. It will also support UHS 2 card but because the interface inside this memory card is only UHS 1 compatible it will only read the UHS 2 card at UHS 1 speed. So there is that. At the back of the box you can see that uh, these are the information written here and his, here is the complete model number which is TSRDF5K. Now this particular model is available in three different colors. The one that I've got is the black color and the K basically denotes black in the CMYK scheme of colors. The other model which is available is in the pink color which is the RDF5R. R stands for red but the memory card reader looks pink and there is another model which is the white and that comes with the model number RDF5W. So there is that and it comes with a two year warranty. So let me just take the card out and take a look at how it looks uh, from inside. So there we go. So this is how the card looks from inside. Let me keep the packaging aside for now. So after getting the memory card reader out of the packaging, this is how it looks. As you can see, very sleek, very simple, very elegant look. There is not much to it. On the left side of the memory card re reader, you can clearly see the marking for the SD card as well as the micro SD card reader. At the back, there is simple flash drive type of look and there is not much to it. On the top there is transient logo and let me measure this for so you can see this is just a little longer than uh, 2 inches and to be a little more precise this is about uh, 55 centimeters long. The thickness of this is about about 5 millimeters or so and the width of this is about a little less than 1 inch or we can say about 20 23 centimeters this is the length or the size of the memory card reader so you can see very small uh, it is almost comparable to a uh, double a size battery you can see here so let me keep the batteries aside and if we open this you will see that it comes with blue colored port as you can see on the packaging it has usb 3.1 generation 1 interface so it should be fairly fast so without any further delay let's just plug in a memory card uh, sorry to test this memory card reader i bought one of the fastest memory card available in the market i think there are many other fast cards available in the market but in my budget this is the best i could do so as you can see on this particular card this is the sandisk extreme a very well known card a lot of people use this card you can see the read speed is 190 megabytes per second with two stars and 90 megabytes per second the write speed with two stars at the bottom you will see that they are claiming this speed if you're using a proprietary sandisk card reader which is very very expensive so we will see how this particular card performs on the transcend card reader which comes with a usb 3.1 gen 1 interface so let me just get uh, take this card out insert this in my uh, memory card and see how it works so i've got the card out let me just take the card out so as you can see this is the sandisk extreme a 128 gigabyte card very popular card you can use this in gopros drones and whatnot so let us insert this card so as you can see this is the transcend logo and make sure the micro sd card or the smaller card the labeling on the card goes down like that so this is how you insert the micro sd card that's it and when it comes to the sd card this is the reverse so instead of the label going down make sure the label is up so this is the difference uh, when you're installing both the cards so as you can see the bigger card or the sd card the label goes up or the label is facing where the transcend label is 
however with the micro sd card the label is reversed so if you can see the transcend logo make sure that the micro sd card has the label at the bottom so this is how you, how you insert the uh, both the cards in there so at a time it can only recognize one card so or it can read only one card so let us test this micro sd card first and i will be using a usb 3.1 generation 1 usb port on my computer and which is what the memory card reader is rated at so there shouldn't be a bottleneck from our computer side so let us see what is the speed we get on this sandisk extreme card which claims these speed 190 megabytes per second read and 90 megabytes per second write speed all right guys so here is my computer so let us connect our memory card reader on our computer and as you can see i will be using my usb 3 g2 uh, usb ports usb 3.2 generation 1 port and which is what this uh, memory card reader also supports so let's see let us connect this and see what happens in our computer so as you can see our card is detected it says usb drive e detected and now there is this blue colored led glowing on the memory card reader letting letting us know that the card is working so let's see whether our card is properly detected or not all right so let us see whether our card is detected or not let me go to my this pc and inside this pc you can see that our card is detected which is displaying as there usb drive e you can see there now let us open click crystal disk mark and the card got detected very quickly so the uh, the card reader is quite uh, fast in my opinion in my previous computer or one of the older memory card it took a little longer to, to be detected okay so now let us check uh, open up crystal disk mar and see what is the speed we are getting while using this memory card reader now e drive is now available 119 gb which is our memory card so let me select that and click on all and let's see how it is comparable how much speed we get using this memory card from this sd card from sendisk which is this one so let's kick on start and let's come back when the uh, test is finished and while the test is running let me show you on the memory card you will see that on the memory card the led is blinking that means our card is being used at the moment all right so results are out and as you can see these are our tests we're getting about 81 megabytes per second on the sequential read and on the right we are getting about 85 on the random read and write we are getting obviously on the random read is we are getting seven and on the random write, we're getting about three uh, megabytes per second so these are fairly slow compared to what is written on the uh, sandisk memory card but sandisk do claim that uh, these results uh, you can get these results if you are using a proprietary sandisk memory card reader here i'm using a transcend card reader and these are my results with my transcend card reader anyways this was the test of my transcend card reader and it works without any problem all right so this was the test of using the micro sd card in this card reader let me go ahead plug a proper sd card and this is again from sendisk this is the sendisk extreme pro a sd card uh, from sendisk so let me just take this out so let me show you from inside so this is the sendisk card reader this is my friend's memory card he got this with his nikon z30 a mirrorless nikon camera so as you can see these are the uh, write speed written on there 70 megabytes per second is the read speed and the write speed is not get, uh, given there so let us see whether what happens if i plug in both the cards at the same time so let me just plug in this card at now the card is now connected let me connect this in my usb port so let's connect it in there card is now connected let's see what happens in our computer so we didn't get any prompt this time so let me just open this pc so right there is this pc let's click on there and as you can see this time nothing is detected so in the beginning as i mentioned that this this card reader cannot detect two cards simultaneously so we need to remove the micro sd card to test our sd card now so let me just remove our micro sd card so here is our card let me just remove the sd card first and then remove the micro sd card so the micro sd card is now out let me plug back in the sd card and now it should be able to detect so let me just plug this back in and let's see whether we get any prompt this time or not so i'm plugging this in one two three it's plugged in and this time we got prop so this tells you that you can't plug two memory card at the same time and again you can see our card is detected it was a 64 gb card and out of 64 gb we're getting about uh, 59 gb of usable space on this sandisk sd card again let me just fire up uh, my crystal disk mark 
so crystal the smart case are now running again and this time we are testing the sd card so let me just click on start now we'll come back when the test is finished all right so the test is finished and as you can see we are getting 95 megabytes per second on the sequential read and on the sequential write we are getting about 80 megabytes per second on the random read we are getting about 6.99 and on the random write we are getting about 2.86 so these are my results using this memory card reader uh, i bought the sandisk extreme pro micro sd as well as the sd card this was the test with the sd card and this is a uhs1 card although this memory card reader is capable of reading uhs2 card as well but because the interface is only uhs1 the card will only support or only give you UHS-1 speed even when using a UHS-2 card. So there is that. So let, these are my testing on the micro SD as well as the SD card using this memory reader. All right guys, so let us do an actual real world test. So I've taken about 200 pictures. So here is the memory card and I'm using the SanDisk SD card and I've clicked about 200 pictures using a Nikon old camera. So let me just go to properties. And as you can see, there are about 200 files and the total size of, of all the 200 files is about 673 MB and these are all JPEG images so let us copy this from the memory card into our computer and let us see how long it takes for this file 200 JPEG files to copy from the memory card to my computer so I've copied so let us paste that in, in our computer and I've got a timer here which will let us know how long it take, took to transfer about 200 JPEG files and each file is about 3 MB megabytes so let us click on paste, clicked on paste, let's start the timer and you can see that this is the speed we're getting about 70, 75 is the average speed and the files are transferred. Stop the timer and it took about less than 9 seconds, almost 8 seconds or 9 seconds to transfer about 200 files, about 650 megabytes per second. Those were 200 uh, JPEG images, uh, JPEG images from the memory card onto my computer and as you can see there is the folder and all the images must be in there so this was the real world test of this uh, of this memory card reader uh, transcend super simple usb a memory card reader and i was using the sendesk extreme pro memory card a 64 gb memory card so there we go this was my video on this transcend super simple memory card reader the model number is rdf5 this card reader is available in three different colors a pink one a white one and the black one the one that i've got is the black one because this was the cheapest option i'm not sure why other colors are a little expensive it comes with a usb 3.1 gen 1 interface super simple card reader only has support for sd card as well as micro sd card uh, comes with a cap easy to carry and looks very elegant with this card reader I tested the Extreme Pro, one of the fastest memory card, SD card that you can buy in the market, at least in my budget. And then I also tested the micro SD card from the same company, SanDisk. And I also showed you the results using this uh, card reader. So decent speed, uh, not much to it. And that brings us to the end of this video. So if you're in this market for a simple card reader, a reliable card reader, I think this is something that you can definitely take a look at. So thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.